Hello, I'm Matty Long, author of the Super Happy Magic Forest books, and this, Super Happy Magic Forest and the Humongous Fungus. This is my brand new book, and it's quite a bit different to the other Super Happy Magic Forest books. For one thing, there's a lot more pages, uh, and there's a lot more pictures and words. Uh, but it's similar to the others in that the five heroes, Hoofius, Twinkle, Blossom, Herbert and Trevor, need to go on a quest, and this time it is to defeat Fungalus, the humongous fungus who has been growing in secret in the super happy magic forest. Today I'm going to show you how to draw one of the super happy magic forest heroes, Blossom the Unicorn. So let's get into it. Pencils and pens at the ready. When we're drawing Blossom the Unicorn, we always start at the same point, and that is Blossom's horn there. And from that, I'll always draw the ear first. And then on this side, we go out, down, and back in. Drawing this bit first always allows me to get the proportions right for every other bit of Blossom's body. It's the starting point from which I can work outwards. So we start on the left hand side from that bit with a line down and we're going to leave a gap there and keep bringing a line down to about there. And we're going to leave another gap, you'll see why in a moment. And we're going to curve a line, this is a tricky bit, but we bring a line out, it curves back in and meets with the top. You can probably tell that's Blossom's long nose there. So that meets up. We've still got two gaps here. What we're going to do is two lines there that curve upwards. And on the end, we're going to draw a semicircular shape there for Blossom's hoof. And down here, two more lines and another semicircle shape there. We're going to do the same on the other side. Two lines, semicircle, and for this leg, we're going to draw straight lines. Blossom is going to be jumping in the air and kicking out in a huge frolicking motion there. We need to go back up here and we bounce a line outwards and back in, down Blossom's back there. And of course have to add a tail with three points on the end. So now we have our unicorn outline and we need to add some personality. So we're going to go back up to the nose here. The letter C and a line down. In this bit here we're going to draw another semicircle with a semicircle inside it, and we can scribble this bit in. And here we're going to add a dot for Blossom's eye, and I'm going to add some lines on the horn for the spirals, and we can scribble in the hooves as well. And just to finish our Blossom picture off, there are other things that we can do to add a bit more super happy magic forest flavour. Um, so I'm thinking things like flowers, to draw a flower. We do a circle and semicircles around the outside edge. 
And don't worry, Blossom knows where he's uh, where he's jumping. He's not going to land on the flower. We can add two dots for eyes, and again, more semicircles there for a big happy mouth for the flower, and a line downwards. We could also add a uh, butterfly, which is a circular shape there with a gap. A sausage shape down, semicircles on each side, and some wings as well. And we could also have Blossom saying something. In the Super Happy Magic Forest, the characters like to talk to each other and say things. So I'm going to go for the word frolic here, one of Blossom's favourite pastimes. Write the word and then draw a bubble around it with a little pointy bit towards the mouth to show that the character is saying that. So there are other things you could potentially add. You might want to add some candy floss in Blossom's free hand, or maybe a lollipop. You might want to add some grass, some more flowers, maybe some clouds. Think of what you could add to your Blossom to make it more of a super happy magic forest scene. Thank you very much, and I'll see you soon.